Welcome to my first ever book review on this channel. Today I would like to show you this little book titled Computer Graphics from Scratch. It's easy to dismiss it at first with its cute cover, shiny paper and colorful images, but don't get fooled. This book covers some serious ground and yields real results, like a fully working implementation of a ray tracer, for example. The book is about one particular aspect of computer graphics, which is rendering three-dimensional scenes. The idea is simple. As the title says, you start from scratch. The author assumes that all your software can do is draw a pixel at the desired position and builds the rendering algorithms step by step using only this put pixel function. The book is divided in two parts. In the first one, we use this step-by-step -step approach to build a ray tracer. Ray tracers tend to produce quite realistic images with the shadows, reflections and so on. The code is quite simple, but the performance is slow. The second part talks about rasterization. This is a technique still used in video games and other real-time applications, where speed is king. While the performance can be an order of magnitude better than ray tracing, it requires more effort to produce pleasant-looking images. There is a lot of math here. You can see it just by flipping the pages of this book. It looks like a long series of equations and graphs. It does look scary, but let me tell you this. I was astonished what a great job the author did explaining the math. As the book promises, you don't really need to be proficient in university-level algebra or computational geometry. All you need is high school math and the book's appendix, explaining the basics of vectors and matrices in the simplest and most concise way I have ever seen. It does not mean you can read through this book in one evening and have a solid understanding of these concepts. You'll have to take a break sometimes, take a pen and paper and go through the math yourself to really get it. I also recommend you do your best to implement the algorithms yourself. The author provides full JavaScript-based implementations on his webpage, but there is nothing quite like doing it yourself and seeing the results. You can play with it too. Here I implemented my put pixel method by drawing a small circle using WX graphics context. The final result looks like something rendered by an old school LED display with every circle representing a little diode. Pretty cool, right? There is an interesting side effect of writing all this code yourself from scratch. One I really haven't seen coming, to be honest. You see, the book does not talk about any specialized 3D API like OpenGL, Vulkan or Metal. But surprisingly, reading about the raw mathematics of 3D rendering lets you understand these frameworks much better. You start to appreciate what parts of the math are done by the frameworks and what parts of the math uh, you have to implement yourself, using popular libraries like GLM. For example, all the triangle clipping is done by OpenGL, and you don't have to worry about it. Everything outside the normalized device coordinates will be clipped. What you need to implement is mapping your scene to these coordinates using, for example, perspective projection, which is explained in details in the book. Another part that's confusing to OpenGL beginners is interpolation in triangle shading. That's the famous example where we provide just three colors for the triangle vertices and OpenGL renders every possible color in the middle, resulting in a colorful gradient. The math behind this is explained in the book in the shading chapter. After reading it, you will have a very clear understanding of what's going on behind the scenes. But that's not all. What I really valued about this book is that after explaining the basics, the author does not leave you clueless on what to do next. He provides ideas on how to extend both the rasterizer and the ray tracer and even lists non-3D topics for the reader to research. The book is not without its flaws, though. I think that the last chapters in the rasterizer part are a bit rushed, especially sections about font shading and textures. It kind of feels like the author wanted to finish the book and did not care to provide as much details as in the previous chapters. I understand these topics are complex, but something like 20 or 30 additional pages wouldn't make the book much larger, uh, but it would make it more balanced. Also, and this goes without saying, uh, this book is for beginners. If you release several AAA games, uh, that's definitely not a resource for you, and you need to look for something more advanced, focusing on very specific areas you want to improve. But if you're just starting with graphics or maybe coded a few examples in OpenGL or another library, 
this book is perfect for you. As I said, even though it does not mention any 3D API, you will gain a better understanding of how these APIs work under the hood, what role your own code plays in a rendering pipeline, and what computations are needed to render the final picture. So if that's you, I strongly recommend this book. It will greatly expand your understanding of computer graphics while being very approachable. Remember to implement the algorithms described and have fun with creating 3D graphics from scratch. Thanks for watching.